Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the ninth question from CIE IGCAC 058043, extended paper from May June 2024. Now, this question is from probability topic. The diagram shows seven cards. Amir picks a card at random. Find the probability that the card shows the letter H. Now, we can see that there are seven letters on cards given. We have to find out the probability of getting the letter H. Since there is no letter H in these given cards, we are going to write the probability of getting the letter H is 0. Then find the probability that the card shows the letter B. Now we have the letter B over here. It is one of the cards out of the total 7 number of cards. So the probability of getting the letter B is 1 out of 7. That is one card out of total 7 cards. Now let us move on to the B question. Let me take these cards over here for easy reference. Fumika picks one of the seven cards at random. She replaces it and picks a second card at random. Find the probability that both cards show the letter I. Now here, Fumika is picking two cards. And when she is picking the first card, she again replaces it. She keeps it back and then she picks up the next card. And again she is going to replace it. Now we have to find out the probability that both the cards showed the letter I. Now here in these given cards, we can see that I has appeared twice, which means the probability of getting the letter I is two cards out of the total seven cards. So when she first picks up the card, the probability of getting the letter I is two out of seven. Now she keeps the card back and she picks another card. So in the second pick also, the probability of getting the letter I becomes two out of seven. So the total probability is going to be 2 over 7 times 2 over 7. This is for the first pick and this is for the second pick. So 2 over 7 times 2 over 7 gives us 4 over 49. So this is the probability of getting both the cards as letter I. Now moving on to the C question. Let me take the letters again over here. Marcos picks two of the seven cards at random without replacement. Find the probability that one card shows the letter I and the other card shows the letter N. Now Marcos is picking the cards and he picks in such a way that he picks the first card out of the seven cards and keeps it with himself and then he goes to pick up the second card. So in this process when he's picking the cards, the total number of cards are going to reduce. So the first card he picks up, he keeps it with himself. So total number of cards becomes now six for the second pick. So here, let us find out the probability of getting the letter I and letter N. Now here, probability of getting letter I is, since we know that there are two letters which are I, so probability of getting the letter I is 2 out of the total 7 cards. Now probability of getting the letter N. N is just 1 in number, so here the probability becomes 1 out of total 7 cards. Now there are two possibilities. Let's say that Marcos will pick up the letter I first, followed by the letter N. So this becomes the probability. So when he is picking the letter I first, the probability is 2 out of 7. Now since he is not replacing it, the total number of cards will reduce for the second pick. So when he is going to pick up the letter N next, the total number of cards will reduce and we are going to write the probability of getting N is 1 over 6. So this is when he gets I first and then followed by N. Now the second possibility is, let us say that he is going to pick up N first, followed by I. So probability of getting N first, so it's the first pick which he's going to do. So total number of cards are going to be 7 first. So here the probability of getting N is going to be 1 over 7. Now he keeps the N card with himself. So for the second pick, the total cards are going to be less by 1. So the total cards have become 6. So when he's going to pick up the second card as I, the probability of getting I becomes 2 over 6. So let us see how much value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 2 over 21. So that is going to be the probability over here. So let me write here. Now the second sub question. Find the probability that the two cards show different letters. So here let us see how many letters have repeated themselves in the given number of cards. So let me take the letters now. And here we can see that I has repeated itself two times out of the seven cards. And letter A 
has also repeated itself two times out of the seven cards. So here we have written the probability of getting i is going to be 2 over 7 and the probability of getting letter a is 2 over 7. Now these are the two letters which are repeating themselves. But here we need to find out the probability that the two cards show different letters. Means we should not get repeating letters when Marcos is picking up the cards. So we are going to take the total probability 1 and subtract the repeating letters from the total probability to get two different letters. So here 1 minus, let us say that Marcos will pick up I first. So when he is picking up letter I, so it is going to be 2 over 7. And since he is not going to replace the card, for the second pick, when he is picking the letter A, the total probability is going to reduce by 1. So he is going to get 1 over 6. Minus, now let us say that he is going to pick letter A first. So he is going to get the probability as 2 over 7. Now for the second pick, he is going to pick letter I. So again the total probability is going to reduce by 1. And he is allowed only to pick up another card. So the probability of getting I becomes 1 over 6. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 19 over 21. So the probability that the two cards show different letters is 19 over 21. Let me write down over here. Now let us move on to the last sub question. Nina picks one of the seven cards at random without replacement. She continues picking the cards at random without replacement until she picks a card that shows the letter A. The probability that this occurs when she picks the nth card is 4 over 21. Find the value of n. So let us try to understand the question first. Nina is picking the cards one by one in such a way that she takes it and she is not going to replace them back. She continues picking the cards till she gets the letter A. Now we have to find out the probability that this occurs. This occurs means when she gets the letter A when she picks the nth card. So you may get the letter A in the second pick, in the third pick, in the fourth pick, in the fifth pick, we do not know. So they have generalized it as the nth card or the nth pick. And she keeps on doing it till she gets the probability 4 over 21. Now we have to find out the value of the n, that is the nth pick or the nth card. Now here in the given letters, we can see that the letter A is repeating itself two times. So the probability of getting letter A is 2 out of total 7 cards. So the probability of not getting letter A. So if we remove this letter A and this letter A, we are left with total 5 cards. So the probability of not getting letter A is 5 out of 7. Now let us start with the picking process. Let us say that Nina picks the card in such a way that her first pick is not going to be the letter A. She might pick up the letter N, letter M, letter I or letter B. So the probability of not picking the letter A is her first pick followed by the letter A. So we will say that the second pick is going to be letter A. So we are going to write the probability as the probability of not getting letter A is 5 over 7. She is not going to replace it. So for the second pick the total number of cards is going to reduce by 1. So for the second pick we have the probability of getting the letter A. So we are going to write it as 2 out of total 6. So these are for the two picks. Let us see if the probability of these two will give us 4 over 21. So let us check this. So this is going to give us 5 over 21. But we have to get 4 over 21. So she is not going to get the letter A for the second pick. So it is not n equal to 2. Now let us say that for the first pick she is not going to get the letter A. For the second pick, she is not going to get the letter A. But for the third pick, she is going to get the letter A. So for the first pick, when she is not going to get the letter A, the probability is going to be 5 over 7 times. Now since the second pick is also going to be not the letter A, this total probability will reduce by 1. So out of 5 letters, one letter is already picked, say N. So you are left with 4 letters. So 4 over now total probability will also reduce by 1. So 4 over 6 times. Now probability of getting the letter A. Now here getting the letter A is 2. And the total probability will reduce by 1 again. Now let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 4 over 21. Which is the expected probability. 
which means she gets the letter a for the nth pick or nth card that is n equal to 3 1 2 and 3 so here n is equal to 3 i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching